Hello everybody, welcome back to another one of my videos. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Freylise. Today I have a like semi part two of my dark romance recommendation video from like back in fucking March, I think. It was a long ass time ago, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. So while it is a dark romance recommendation video, kind of part two, um, it's more focused towards darker romances. So these aren't quite like almost contemporary dark romances. These are like dark romances. They're not just dark dark recommendations. They're dark recommendations. I already know that's gonna be the title. Do you get what I'm saying? They're not just dark romance. They're dark romance. Does that make sense? No. Either way, if you like your dark romance on the darker side of dark romance, you've come to the right place. I read a shit ton of them and I really enjoy them and so we're gonna be talking about some of my favorites recently as well as some that I just recommend because I fucking love them. So I have like six recommendations I think. Let's get into the video. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe subscribe. Let's do this. Also, I know I'm wearing my Oilers hat and we literally lost the fucking series. <laughs> I don't care. I'm still a fan. We're gonna start with a book that I haven't talked about on my channel before at all and that is Hate Me by A. Jade. If you didn't know, I think Ashley Jade has like another pen name which is A. Jade. So it's sometimes like written by Ashley Jade and A. Jade. I, they're the same author. I'm almost positive of that. But this one just happens to be A. Jade instead of Ashley Jade. Either way, enough about that. This is a really dark romance. It is just like really fucked up kind of for no reason but it is a fun ass ride. So it is a standalone. This is told in dual perspectives. This follows Nox and Aspen. Um, Aspen is the heroine, Nox is the hero. A little confusing there. Before I fully get into like discussing this book, I just want to say that this is extremely dark. This is a high school bully romance and you might be like, girl, why the fuck are you recommending this? Um, This is not my usual like trope or genre but I did really enjoy this book and I know I still would enjoy it. I did read it a few months ago but I know I would still really enjoy this one not for like the plotted out part of it but just the wild ass ride that it was. Just go into it knowing that like it's not the most plotted out planned book okay it's just a wild ass ride. This is stepbrother and bully romance. They live in the same house and there's so much tension between them like this is enemies to lovers on steroids. No this is enemies to lovers dark 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 romance edition so yeah they really hate each other but they live together. Aspen is definitely like a daddy's girl and she has a little side thing going on with with somebody that I'm not gonna tell you about because that's a spoiler they really hate each other <laughs> like I mean hey bitch they hate each other but obviously they fall in love and then there's some mystery and plot that happens towards the end I'm not gonna say it because it spoils the entire thing but this is just one fucked up chaotic ride that I actually thoroughly enjoyed next up <laughs> how can I not this is sicko by Emma Jones <laughs> bitch I did an author guide for Emma Jones just a few weeks ago and I told you all there but the only mm, not the only but one out of two of the only books that I don't have by Emma Jones in paperback is Sicko which is crazy and I need to fix it but Sicko by Emma Jones this is another dark romance actually it is also step sibling but it's actually more foster sibling so it's another standalone there is a different book that I think Emma Jones may still be writing about one of the side characters because he's just so hot but all the events that happen in here get wrapped up at least on their side so it's definitely dark it's in this video and like I said, it is a foster sibling romance. So this follows Jade and Sicko or Royce. They are like really close growing up. Royce is very protective of her. Like he warns everyone at their school to like stay the fuck away from Jade. And like him and his two friends like tease her all the time. And it gives that dynamic so well, like so well. I almost didn't want it to end, but something does happen. Royce goes away and he comes back like four years later, like a completely different human being. He's joined a motorcycle club and he is such an asshole to her like such an asshole jade has gone through a lot of things while royce was away and she's hiding a lot of secrets and royce is just like pissed like where are you going all the time she's like not gonna tell him right and so he's like where the fuck are you going like i will literally get someone to tail you where the fuck are you going so yeah i really love their dynamic together there's so many secrets that get revealed towards the end there's like a lot of heartbreak too because when royce left jade he really left her in a tough spot to be like blackmailed by somebody and she's gone through so much pain because he fucking left but either way he comes back they make it all right there is one part where at the end of the book he, um, how do I say this? He skins alive the bad guy in this book. So he, <laughs> he tells Jade that he won't kill him. 
he does. That's on page as well. So this one is dark as hell. I loved it. To be honest though, I kind of skipped past the part where he's like peeling his the skin off his fingers. <laughs> I was like, I can't do it. But that being said, I really like the twist and turns of this book. It was really dark and it was twisty and it is like messy, but like good messy. You know what I mean? So I highly recommend Sicko by Emma Jones. If I haven't already talked about it enough. Diabolic by Penn Cassidy, bitch. This one is a reverse harem. I wanted to throw some kind of different tropes and genres in here. So still dark as fuck, but reverse harem edition. So this one is in a series. It's book one, but the series is not fully out yet. So it does end on a cliffhanger. Not like the be all end all of cliffhangers, but like you don't get to see their happily ever after. So I believe it's going to be a duet. I it might be a three book series. We will have to see. I'm sorry to do this to y'all, but trust me, this is such a good ass book that you won't regret it. I mean, you will when you get to the end and you're like, fuck, there's a cliffhanger, but you won't. <laughs> because you enjoyed it so much. By the way, the other two books before this, I didn't say this, but they were both dual point of view, sorry. This one is multiple point of views, and I'm not going to tell you how many because you don't really see who the heroes are until kind of 40% into the book, and I love that added mystery. So Lila, who is the heroine, is just a really strong heroine. She is the heir to her non-biological father's mafia syndicate, and so I did recommend this in my recent underrated mafia romance recommendations. I will link that, but also you can check it out on my channel. So she is one of the heirs and then her cousin comes. He's not actually her cousin because obviously she's adopted But there are so many tensions that arise between them because it's reverse harem You have all of the like tropes for guys on this one So you have like the cute and psycho one you have the funny one Usually he's the cute psycho and funny one you have the good guy you have the enemies to lovers You have may have the second chance love you have the boss or like the alpha one And so you literally hit on all of those in here you have age gap you have good guy you have I'm not gonna say more I can't can't say more because then I'll spoil who the guys are but yeah you hit on all of them and it's so good this is one of my favorite reverse harems of all time I recommend this a lot <laughs> like I think I recommended it like a few videos ago but I truly love this book so much and I feel like it's really underrated too just a solid ass read and I should have mentioned this before but the heroine Lila is a psycho heroine <laughs> she literally skins a dude in this book and I was here for it she's kind of crafted by her adopted mafia father to be a killer so she knows how to do that shit she is just really hot because she can handle her shit without like being in your face about it and she's also kind of like psycho and cute she <laughs> I kind of imagine her with like pigtails and shit and it's hilarious. It Ain't Me Babe by Tilly Cole. This is book one in her MC Club series. It's called the Hades Hangman series. Is it Hangman or Hangmen? Hades Hangman series. I think it's Hades Hangman series. Either way, um, this is book one in the series. I believe there's like eight books or some shit told in dual perspective. It follows Salome and River or Styx. Their love story is just so sweet. Salome was in a cult and Styx is the head of an MC club. So they see each other when they're younger and they have like an instant connection. Like they see something in each other, but their circumstances don't allow them to be like friends at all. But then later he rescues her from the cult that she's been living in and kind of reintroduces her back to like common life and he is also mute so he has a stutter and he talks by signing and I love that aspect especially in a dark romance you don't get a lot of representation in dark romances so I was absolutely here for that it also adds like an emotional element to this <laughs> No, we're not gonna cry. <laughs> we're not gonna cry over a dark romance book. We're not gonna do it. Their story continues throughout the series. Like, you do see them in the other books, but they're just two really solid characters throughout the entire series, and they're literally destined for each other. You cannot tell me any different. Obviously, it's MC, so it's gotta have some dark element to it. Tilly Cole goes really deep into that MC part of it. Oh so good and I highly recommend this one it's a lot darker than some of these books on here I was going into it like expecting it to be super dark and I did find it a little lighter than I thought it would be but that being said if you are going from one of these dark romances to this one you definitely will see a difference in the darkness scale darkness scale <laughs> I should make one of those pageant by Lilith Vincent bitch it's another reverse harem this one is also dark as fuck I mean, you clicked on this video, so you know they're gonna be dark. <laughs> yes, imagine me saying that when you read dark, okay? Like I said, this one is reverse harem. This one is also mafia. This one is just really dark. So basically, Lilia, the heroine, she's also a mafia princess, but mainly she is a model in Milan, I think, and she gets kidnapped one day and goes to this pageant for her three captors where basically they parade themselves around and go through a bunch of tests. And if you get eliminated, you are are dead <laughs> you get shot and the one who wins gets 
to be the Pak Hen's wife. Mm hmm It's fucked up. It is dark as hell, and it is so good. So, Reverse Harem, like I said, you have three guys in this one. You have Second Chance Love, you have Crazy Psycho Dude, but he's funny as well, and then you have the Alpha one. So, all of these all together are just so good. This one is definitely enemies to lovers without the arch rivalness of it, because they really fucking hate each other. Like, it's the level of enemies to lovers, but it's more of a hate to love thing. So, they really fucking hate each other. Um, it's told in dual timeline as well, so you get to see her love with one of the guys when it first blossoms a few years ago, and it is so... it's not sweet, but you can't say that. It is not sweet. It's dark as hell. There is not a lot of lovey scenes. They are really not very, like, in love with each other or, like, kind to each other until the very end, and it is a huge ass cliffhanger. So, the second one comes out closer to the end of the year, I think. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, you guys, but it is a good ass book and a fantastic dark romance. And then you have Dark Notes by Pam Godwin. This one is a little bit more of a contemporary one upon my first thoughts of it, but <laughs> there is one scene in this that is dark as fuck. It is a pretty dark romance. So this one is taboo, forbidden. You have the student teacher trope in this one. It is dual point of view as well. The heroine is a pianoist. Pianist? <laughs> Bitch. The heroine is pianist and the hero is a piano teacher. He starts teaching her and it's super steamy because the tension between them, it's not enemies to lovers at all, but like the tension between the student teacher trope. Oh my god. There is a bad guy in this one that definitely makes them do some fucked up things. He does some fucked up things and it's just a really beautiful story about two people who really do love each other regardless of the taboo aspect of this. I fully saw them as in love and it was really sweet. But yeah, on the darker side, not as dark as some of these, but still a dark romance and really, really good. So that is all of my recommendations for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. 